Hey there guys, Solo here. Welcome to the first boss fight in Drills of Cold Steel 4. And as you can see, we are level 87. Aw, oh, yeah! <laughs> that is so awesome, man. Like, it's so awesome that at the beginning of the game, we're just this high level. It's ridiculous. But unfortunately, as much as I like to say that, um, this is just going to be for the prologue. Because right now we're doing we're controlling some different people other than the new and old Class 7. We have Lloyd, Ellie, Estelle, and Joshua and Ren. Now, for those who are, uh, for those who have watched my trails in the sky, boss run, even though I haven't really finished it, I plan on finishing it at some point. You guys will recognize who Estelle and Joshua are. Estelle is the protagonist of the sky game, and of course, she has Joshua by her side. And of course, Ren is she is, and she's in fact someone who's going to be introduced later on in the sky games too. But she's she's not really that important at the beginning of the sky series, but later on, she's really important. Um, but yes, and uh, obviously this is kind of spoilerish, just just by considering watching these kind of videos of Cold Steel 4. And of course we have Lloyd and Ellie. Now, even though we didn't really see Ellie in um, Cold Steel 2 when those shows Lloyd and Risha at the divestment, she was in fact mentioned. So this is Ellie. She was helping out in the SSS and Cold Steel, not Cold Steel, in the shows of Zero and Azure. And of course, we have Lloyd himself. He is the protagonist of the Critical Crossbow games. So we have both protagonists back, along with Reen, who's going to be joint, who's going to be available later later on in the game. Considering what happened at the end of Cold Steel Three, we'll just see how that works out. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, other than that, since we're just using them for this prologue, all their equipments are pretty much locked at the moment. And of course, we can go to the ornaments, uh, experiment thing as well. Whoops. And they had the level threes already, Jesus. <laughs> that is so awesome, man. Careers are just like three levels lower than we would have been if we played Trails of the Third. I'm sorry, Trails of the Third, because you started level 90 in that game, I believe. So that's pretty good, too. Um, yeah, this game was awesome. This game has a lot of upgrades, and a lot of things got that. That unfortunately did get nerfed. But at the same time, there are ways to get around the nerfness. And that's pretty much it. Um... Oh, one more thing we can show off is their skills and their brave orders. You guys a good idea. Lloyd can use 300% break damage and heals everyone by 40%, which is nice. And of course, you have Ellie's as well, which reduces the EP cost by half. Because she was a pretty much spellcaster in, in the crossbow games. Estelle, who reduces the amount of damage you take and gets you up by 50%, or sorry, Kills or gives a CP up by 50%. Excuse me. And we have Joshua, who is pretty much like an amped up version of Kurt's Brave Order. Reduce your delay time, but also give you 20 CP. And Ren, of course, just I believe she reduces your casting time. Or yeah, your casting time by half. All right, that's pretty much it, really. Um, yeah, I don't want to go too into detail and let this intro be like 40 minutes long. That's pretty much it, right? Yeah, I, think, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, whatever. Alright, so so like I said, this game got a lot of cool upgrades. And of course, again, yeah, something got nerfed, but we'll see how that works out. Like, one of the most notable things in battle when you go into a fight is you actually have a maximum of 7 BP rather than 5, which is ridiculous. About the 7 BP, it is kind of understandable because when I say nerf, some Brave Orders got increased by BP costs. Same. See, this is awesome. Like, if you play wholesale, or sorry, the crossbow games, you will know Ren in her laptop. <laughs> and of course, you guys will know who Kia is. He's really important in the crossbow games. 
時空間の外側をマトリックス化していく感じかなそれでいいわ早速始めましょう<笑> Sweat job. <laughs> yep, that's what turning. Oh, actually, the fun fact that is that this is actually a manga of the prologue. So, in case you guys don't understand what they're talking about, you can just show, check it out. And it's also been translated as well. But unfortunately, it's just a prologue. So, afterwards, you gotta figure out what they're trying to say. They're actually working on a translation spreadsheet as we speak. And hopefully, it'll be finished by Christmas. I honestly don't know when it's gonna go get localized. Uh -oh. It was very nice who those two are. Obviously, this is after the whole events in the Grail. Well, she knows our names. Well, it's not really all that surprising. Alric. よくこの場所に狙いをつけたと感心しているくらいだ。さすがは彼の白面殿に仕込まれただけはあるようだね。何ですって？まさかあなたは決者の十三工房に参画していた帝国に存在する知性の集団。決者を裏切り、鉄血
オズボーン閣下と結社の共闘のお披露目その結果として始まった大いなる黄昏というわけだ大いなる黄昏ろくでもない想像しか浮かばなさそうな名前ねそっかやっぱりあの時の黒い波は四方<笑>の力が失ったとはいえ Though she is thick though, I'll admit <laughs> She is thick Indeed さすがは黒い助の猛衆が生み出した元人造四方と言うべきでしょうかベルあなたうん別にいいよキーアはその通りの存在だったしベルには感謝してるところもあるからロイドやエリーたちに出会わせてくれたこととかキーアキーアちゃん<笑>成長しましたわねあなたはそれでいいでしょうそれにしてもまさかブライト家の方々もいるとは特にナンバー15殲滅天使一度お会いしたいと思ってましたわフレンレンも会ってみたかったわ教授の後を継いだというお姉さん Yeah, Ren was a former enforcer just like Joshua was なるほど教授以上にタチが悪いわねあなた But of course, when Maribel joined the enforcers, they were already. They already left Ouroboros. Naraba. <laughs> こちらも見極めさせてもらおうか。あれは。ペイザルオーブラウスエンドリー。教授が使っていた。戦術核の一種か。クロウサキという子も使っていた。<笑>それらすべての原点とも言える。And in case guys didn't really believe me back at Cold Steel Three, yeah, that was. Albert's voice in that old right by Siegfried after you defeated McBurn and Caponella. That eye on top of、um, the Tower of Stargaze. And holy sweet Jesus. <laughs> It's a more demonic version of Sammy and Lammy. Oh lord. Yeah, of course, we're not gonna. Get out of here, Scott Free. Yeah, her dolls. <laughs> I want to say these are the same ones that we retrieved in that side quest in now. And of course. あの模様は最初は直属、鉄血の子供が一人、氷の乙女、クレア・リーベルト、機密区画侵入の容疑で、あなた方、全員を拘束します。来るみんな、気をつけて。Sorry, Kia, just stand back. セスリンクオン、なんとしても食い下がるぞ。せっかくだ。Right. That's a hard turn over. If this is pretty ridiculous, if this is the first boss, you know they're gonna go out, out with all the stops throughout the entirety of the game. And for this, the AP, the, well, I wouldn't say AP conditions. Later on, we will be introduced to AP conditions, but for this, we just need to reduce their health to a certain amount to end the battle. Ow. <laughs> of course, Estelle there for the help. Alright, so now we have Claire, Albrecht, and Mirabel herself. Well, themselves. Of course, Albert has the lowest、um, requirement to end this battle. And Claire has the second, to, no, or sorry, the lowest. And, well, it goes Claire, Mar Maribel, then Albert. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, it was Claire. So we're going to take out Claire first. Alright. I think we're going to go start off with. Oh, yeah, by the way, we also have. 
Kia's Brave Order, which gives us four turns of guaranteed crits, which is nice, but the BP cost is pretty high up there, so we might avoid using it. But for now, I guess I'm going to use Joshua to deduce our delay time. <clears throat> yeah, I think we'll do that. There's rings for that too. Because, yeah, see that? That's ridiculous. Now, this is very cool too because this puts Joshua into stealth for two turns afterwards, which is nice. And I believe he has her on the Kakotsuchi Master Quartz, which is nice. Alright. So let's get rid of that nonsense. Thank God this is an impede ability. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, we got her in sleep. Nice, nice, nice. I should have followed that with a burst, but we'll just say that for now. Uh, so what can you do? Yeah, we can't. We can shine. I guess we can shine. That would work out a little bit. But I don't really know using skills or um, arts. You know, we'll use shine. See if that works out. We'll see. Ow. Alright, so we're gonna use La Forte on everyone. That range, yo. <laughs> that range, as I gotta say, that range. Uh, oh, just use a rush. We don't have to go crazy, but we can do some more damage, though. Yeah, that's good. She's gonna use her skill, she's gonna heal. Which is not cool, but. We'll use Burning Heart right now. Yeah, you should Burning Heart. Which also gives us one toward our BP as well. Alright, so Josh Bergman. This is pretty good, but like the more turns we get, the better. Alright. I really don't want them right near me. No, the forte. Sorry, Josh, you do your thing again. <laughs> it puts him into self, yo, which is ridiculous. She can't appear. Actually, oh, this is all round attack. I might actually do that. Yeah, go for it. But I completely forgot this actually targeted everybody. This is actually a range attack. Okay, it didn't put Ellie right in front of them, which is nice. We're doing pretty good actually, not gonna lie, we're actually doing pretty freaking good. Um I wanna get rid of Claire, I really do. But fortunately she's not right there. I don't want to use this again, but it looks like I have to though. That works. So we end the outbreak of sleep. Alright, not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay. I'll raise the rush to, to the maximum. Nice, nice, nice. I right, will use it again. Which is never really a bad thing. Um, we can lower the defense. We'll do that. Oh, get three, too. Sweet, sweet, sweet. That's not bad. That's not bad. Alright, we'll get our CP back with this. I'll take that. Now, I don't know if 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure Claire doesn't, since you know she can, we can take her out pretty easily, and I don't think Maribel too, but Albert does in fact has his S craft, so we need to be careful that. Uh, yeah, I think we'll do something like this. Yeah, we'll do it. Huh, that's funny. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, the brain heart doesn't. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Increases the strength. First defense. Oh, you know, I should use a brave order. Well, we'll just do rushes. We won't go too crazy, but we'll do rushes instead. Alright. Defense is down. Interesting. You're done soon. Defense is down, huh? Get me a ball, though. I'm going to get some healing, which is annoying, but I can't really do anything about that, and I can I? I think I'm just doing normal attack for a lord, I guess. We're gonna cheese this thing. We're gonna, we're gonna cheese this thing. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah. oh yeah, we won this. We won this because then now we're delayed. Oh no. Well, now that our delays has been reduced, so yeah, we got this. But you know, just to put insult to injury. Actually, hold on. Cut it simply. Strength is up that too. Yeah, we, we won this. We won, we won, we won. Yeah, just finish it, guys. Do it the way you guys can. <laughs> I love that. Oh, baby. We get to see both the protagonists do their s -crap? Let's go, Estelle. <laughs> awesome sauce. Do it. I couldn't ask for a better way to end the prologue. Mata Maga! <laughs> it's a shame we couldn't really see Alberix's S Crab. He, he actually looks pretty cool. But I don't want to deal with any of that nonsense. The whole point wasn't really to defeat them, it was to just stall them long enough. But then again, that is an easy boss fight carry over to the rest of the game. Oi. <laughs> Even thought that was hard and this is on Nightmare, and this is a prologue fight, just wait till later. <laughs> Two 
Dude, it's so freaking reassuring to have both protagonists here. <laughs> because Estelle and, and Lloyd always call it the shots in, in their games. Oh, complete it. Let's get out of here. See ya. Even though they could probably stop us, they're gonna let us go. ありがとう。私も自分でそう思うわ。愛しているわ、エリ。今度はまた近いうちにね。思いもよらぬ面々と開口できたようだが、色々とドラマがあるようだね。まあ、そのあたりは立ち入らないでくださいね。<笑><
この大陸をうん世界の全てを飲み込んで食らい尽くすつもりかしらでもティオにランディは絶対に無事だと思うティータにアガットっていうエステルたちの仲間もそれからこの七組って人たちもキーアちゃんそっか因果が見えるんだったね根拠は全然ないけどちょっとだけ安心できるわねああまだ何も終わっちゃいない海戦まで2ヶ月もないだろうこの呪いというのが本当ならええ徴兵開始から半年前後と見ていたけど超常的な力が働くとしたら短期間で準備を整えるでしょう私たちはギルド総本部それとリベールにこの情報を伝えるロイド君たちはどうするこちらは共和国それからレミフェリアにも伝えようと思うちょうど今そちらの方で動いている仲間たちがいるからな風の牽制にいいんだっけお互い行方不明の仲間もいるしとんでもなく忙しくなりそうねうんでも絶対に取り戻さなきゃお互いがお互いの光になっていけば何倍にも何十倍にも強くなれるからキアえそうねお互いがお互いの光になるかちょっとこっぱずかしいけどなんとなくわかるかなさすがキーヤちゃん面も成長したっていうかちょっとエステルもう子供じゃないんだからブラッシングランド頑張ろうロイド君たちそれぞれの守るべきもののために何よりも世界を終わらせないためになあ了解だああいやプロタグフェスト帝国の彼らがどう動くかまだわからないからガッダメウォッシュリンウォッシュリンウォッシュリンウォッシュリンウォッシュリンウォッシュリンウォッシュリンウォッシュリンウォッシュリンウォッシュリンウォッシュリンウォッシュリンウォッシュリンウォッシュリンウォッシュリンウォッシュリンウォッシュリンウォッシュリ